We begin tonight with the severe storms slamming the East Coast, just as millions of Americans are returning home from their holiday travels. More than 60 reported tornadoes ripping across the central U.S. this weekend alone. Major damage from Texas to Arkansas to Kentucky. The death toll rising to at least 23. And tonight, we're tracking the threat as it moves east. 62 million people under severe risk from Texas all the way to New York. Severe thunderstorm watches are in effect for major cities, including Philly and New York City. And tornado watches in the mid-Atlantic, including for Washington, D.C. We'll check in on travel in just a moment. But first, we start off with Priscilla Thompson in the Storm Zone in Texas. We're in it. We're in it. Oh, there it is. Go, go, go. Tonight, the vicious storms that battered the heartland, barreling east, drenching New York City and parts of the coast. After tearing a cross-country path of destruction. Oh, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. You won't never be the same. More than 20 people have died in Memorial Day weekend storms after upwards of 60 reported tornadoes across a dozen states. When it hit the, the floors, you could just feel the floors just wave Cali up and down. In Kentucky, this massive twister touched down in Eddyville. The damage in nearby Dawson Springs, where a tornado seemingly cut clear across town, shredding entire homes. Our Kathy Park is there. The dangerous storms blew in overnight, catching many people off guard, including one couple in their 90s. We're told they were on this bed as the extreme winds tore their house apart. Incredibly, they survived. In hard hit Arkansas, streets littered with debris. Winds so powerful, they ripped off the front of this dollar store. Here in Valley View, Texas, officials now say 125 people were trapped in this rubble after the gas station they were sheltering in crumbled. It felt like I was living in a nightmare. Among them, Elizabeth Hernandez, who filmed this terrifying video. What was the scariest moment? Um, when it actually hit and like we and like we could feel the wind of it. Like it felt like we were outside. I was just waiting for us to be either lifted up or something to smash on us. Less than a mile up the road, Monica Vasquez was in a closet with her husband and five children, the youngest just three years old. What was going through your mind? I don't, I don't want to die. Incredible that family survived. Priscilla joins us now from hard hit Valley View, Texas, just north of Dallas. Priscilla, a community that has lost so much and still so many injured. Yeah, Tom, so many injured. And when you see this devastation, you understand how. I am standing on the foundation of this home. That house now over there, the entire second floor gone. As across the country, communities like this one are continuing to clean up. Tom. All right, Priscilla Thompson leading us off tonight. Priscilla, thank you. And that severe weather hitting just as Memorial Day travel is shattering records. Our Priya Shreether is at Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson Airport, where there was a ground stop earlier today. Priya, how's it looking now? Well, Tom, the record number of Americans who travel this holiday weekend are trying to make their way home as that destructive storm system heads east. The Flight Aware Misery map showing delays and cancellations along the East Coast. As of now, more than 5,000 delays so far. Here in Atlanta, long lines as travelers try to make their way home. The TSA says it broke a record on Friday with nearly 3 million screens. Meantime, AAA predicted the biggest number of road trippers ever, some 38 million driving this holiday weekend. Experts say the Memorial Day numbers indicate a strong summer travel season ahead. Tom? All right, Priya, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.